This video is about Dylan Cantrell, a man out of Texas Tech University who is absolutely on fire right now. And we're going to be talking about the NFL draft, nutrition, diet, athletic performance, and cultural expectations. And hey, if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe for more videos like this. Let's get right into it. Dylan Cantrell has definitely raised some eyebrows at the NFL Combine as a wide receiver this year. And if you type his name into YouTube, you'll see his highlight reel pretty much speaks for itself. The NFL Draft starts on April 26, 2018, and there's a lot of speculation about where he might end up. One thing I've noticed with athletes under the age of 30 is more and more guys waking up to the potential natural athletic performance and recovery benefits of a plant-based diet. Some guys decide to become really vocal advocates of this lifestyle once they see the results, but other guys are just living their life and doing their thing and shining out there. I'll touch back on this in a minute, but right now let's focus on Dylan Cantrell and his diet. As many of you know, a documentary called The Game Changers is coming out later this year, and it's going to have a lot of people talking about plant-based athletes. So I'm watching a video about Nimai Delgado, a plant-based bodybuilder, and people in the comments were debating whether he is natty or not, and I noticed this awesome comment by Jordan Cantrell, and this is what inspired me to do this video. Jordan is Dylan Cantrell's older brother, and I believe this is his authentic account because if you look at the videos he's posted, he made an awesome highlight reel video, which I suggest you guys check out. Dylan Cantrell's highlight reel is lit. I'm gonna put a link in the description for that. You should check it out. Anyways, you can see in the comment, he's saying that Dylan Cantrell made the switch to a plant-based diet. And as we discussed, he's about to get drafted into the, into the NFL. And he was a top performer at the NFL Combine of all wide receivers. So I was encouraging Jordan to make videos on this topic and then he came back on and commented that he had been eating a plant-based diet for a while and his brother became interested in it and decided to make the switch. He's saying that Dylan will be the first to tell you that he can tell a huge difference in performance on a plant-based diet. Now, if you really do your homework, you'll find out that Jordan Cantrell was also a standout football player at Harding University. So these guys come from an athletic family out of White House High School in White House, Texas. In case you live in a different part of the country or you never heard about the culture down in Texas, football is real serious and cooking barbecue is practically a team sport. To hear that Dylan Cantrell is headed to the NFL out of Texas Tech University and he eats a plant-based diet is a pretty big deal in my opinion. So regardless of whether or not this dude identifies as plant-based or quote-unquote vegan or eats fish once a month or whatever, I really don't know for sure, but this is one anecdote about how the tide is changing. I just want to say that we can all be game changers at our own level. The label doesn't necessarily only apply to people who are in the film. Whether or not you're on the cusp of getting drafted into the NFL or you just influence the people around you at your job, the gym, or your school, smile, laugh, have fun, and just become the best version of yourself, and you can be a game changer, just like Dylan Cantrell, regardless of the names, labels, or profession that you're in. Get out there, get motivated, eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, beans, potatoes, whole grains, and make it happen. I can understand why a lot of guys don't want to let their diet define them, especially if you're at the beginning of your career and the type of characteristics that you use to represent yourself might impact your compatibility at a given job or impact your future earnings potential. Now, we all know that diet does define us to some extent because what you eat is who you are. It's what you become down the road. So you want to put the best fuel in your body that you can. I'd love to see a guy like Dylan Cantrell come through after the NFL draft and talk about plant-based nutrition and athletic performance in a more public venue. Good luck in the draft, man. I can't wait to see where you end up and keep bringing that fire on the field. Now, if you've made it this far and it's the first time you found my channel, I normally do content about men's health issues and fad diet advice. because. 
there is some crazy bad advice out there on the internet and you really got to be careful with some of this stuff. So I try to bring some clarity into the discussion by keeping it grounded in the science and bringing a little humor. If you want to avoid making fad diet mistakes and step up to become a game changer on your own level, then make sure to subscribe to Red Pill Vegan. Next, 